All right, guys. Happy Fourth of July. Uh, we out in the garage messing around a little bit early, and subframe is back under the car for like the twentieth time. I don't know. Lost track. But anyway, in and out, in and out all part of it but it's back in motor mounts uh are in firewalls done and we're fixing to jump on the core get it back on or radiator support whichever way you want to say it uh and then we'll start messing around mocking up some fenders the inner fender well stuff and we'll put the nose back on and we'll see what kind of alignment issues we run into and uh We'll go from there. We'll bring you back. All right, YouTube, we've just been showing you a few little pictures along the way. Uh, Man, I'm going to tell you something. This ain't no joke. <laughs> Trying to put this daggone car together. Ain't nothing fun about it. <clears throat> uh, originally, I had just uh, hand tightened some bolts in these uh, skirts or inner fenders uh, through the core and then to the brace. And then that's our new brace back there. Uh, originally I did that and then tried to set the fender on but you, it's almost impossible on this car uh, and you got to remember the core is a aftermarket piece these skirts are aftermarket pieces so <clears throat> you know they're probably not lining up just right but if you look at the uh, this hole this hole is, is good I can get my bolts in here I've got this skirt mounted to the fender. I took uh, Wendell Seidel. I took his advice in, a, in an older video that he had put on there about uh, working on the GTO project that he's on. And he, he had said that going ahead and putting these skirts on the fender and then put the whole thing on the car would probably be easier uh, so I took his advice, did that, and man, it was so much simpler. Um, I hand tightened and then just kind of ratcheted down just a little bit the uh, brace to the firewall bracket piece there. I need to loosen that. That'll give me some play. Uh, but I do have one of the bolts started and the other ones are lining up fairly good. Really probably a little better than I suspected expected suspected uh we're gonna take this one off do it the same way but not today we're gonna call it quits for today uh the weather fixing to get pretty bad like the way it looks but it's not uh awful but it's not real good right now uh we've got a gap there but this whole thing this whole core if you'll watch it'll move it'll move and I believe once I get both fenders on, then I'll go up underneath and try to get my bolt started up under there. Uh, I believe it'll be easier that way. And if not, we're going to, you know, having never done this, uh, I did have them set on there one time, but I really didn't do any adjusting and we didn't have the skirts in. So uh, there we go. That's what we've been doing today. Trying to put the old car together. And the bad thing about it is it's got to come apart one more time. So, uh, but we got to make sure we can get it together without skinning it all to pieces. And I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much of this. I, I've never painted a car, so I don't know the sequence uh, in, in which to paint a car. Obviously, I can look back at some of the videos from people that have done it. And, you know, what I can kind of figure out you know which route i need to take we'll probably do that mr wendell's been working on that gto i'll probably revisit that so uh and and then there's two or three second gens that i can look at also but not too bad overall pretty happy uh driver's side fender skirt header panel 
lower valences in there. Um, just just kind of got to gotta look back at some videos and figure out which direction I need to take. Uh, and then we'll blow it all back apart one more time and do our uh, do our satin black stuff on the firewall and the skirts and all that good stuff. I'm going to try to do that. I'll do the core. Uh, I'll probably do scuff and do the motor mounts to match. Try to, try to make it match this. So we'll see. All right, tubers, we're going to call it quit for the day, but we'll do some more. All right, tuber, July the 5th in the afternoon, about 3.30. And uh, we're going to pop this other skirt off. We've got our uh, driver's side fender and the uh, header panel in the room. We'll see if we can get that skirt mounted on this fender and hopefully uh, either back on the car or close to it or whatever before we uh, run out of time this afternoon. Uh, looks like a long weekend at work. So we're going to do what we can in the afternoons. And uh, as we have progress, we'll video it. We'll bring you along. Let's just see what we're up to. And uh, hopefully we get this thing where we can, we can take stuff off and put back on without a fight. Uh, then we can, we can pull this stuff and scuff it up and do whatever painting we're gonna do uh, to, to the inside part of this deal. We'll do the skirts, the core or radiator support and uh, firewall and possibly even the cow panel. I'm not sure just yet if I'm gonna paint that or what. But uh, we know we're gonna try to get the inside work done and uh, we'll do the motor mounts and everything to match on the inside. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to put it together once we do that and have the car ready for final body work and paint then. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable about the motor mounts and, and doing that uh, later on. Hopefully the only thing we don't have on there is the cross member for the transmission. Um, and, but I believe we can I believe we can get under there and do that when the time comes. All right, as we have some progress, we'll bring you along. All right, tubers. Uh, still Thursday afternoon, the fifth. Driver's side, fender is on. Nothing is mounted tightly. Everything you just got a bolt dropped in and finger tight. Uh, these are lined up good. These are lined up good. Um, two bolts in here. Two bolts in here. The skirt to the core are lining up perfectly on both sides. No problems. Uh, the issues right now, and I'm sure a lot of it's because I don't have that front end pulled down tight and I don't have any bolts in at the bottom, but you can see a wide gap at the bottom, very small one at the top. This fender, this entire clip has got to come up in the back, both sides, got to come up that front end probably needs to go down. And I'm sure when I tighten those bolts and compress those bushings, all that'll help that to line up like it's supposed to. Hopefully. I don't, I, I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm missing that would do that. Uh, other than the fact that the subframe's not compressed tight, I probably need to do that. So hopefully those things will Tighten up those gaps at the bottom without me having to do any any kind of modifications. I, I shouldn't have to, hopefully. Uh, but I definitely need to go in there and tighten up uh, those very back bolts of the subframe. Need to probably go ahead and put an impact wrench on them and then torque them in. So we'll know for sure. Uh, we'll probably leave it at this today. And if we have time tonight, we might upload this. We'll see. I don't even know how much time I got, so might not even be worth looking at. But we'll see. But anyway, there's a car. That's kind of a car, piece of car. Coming together. Long way to go. Alright, we're gonna definitely try to get these fenders right and gap fairly close 
really close before we do anything else. I don't want to just keep slapping sheet metal on there and it, and it just be all out of whack and stuff be in the way and all that good stuff. So we'll leave it right here. Uh, I'll probably upload this. Like I say, I don't know how much time I got. We'll let and see. But uh, I want to thank everybody. I know I didn't do it last time, but thanks for watching the videos. Uh, appreciate all the subscriptions. Uh, thanks to everybody that's jumped on lately. I know we always try to do that. Sometimes we forget. Uh, appreciate all the comments on the last two or three videos. I know I hadn't commented on anything on the last one, but I'll try to get uh, caught up with some of that stuff. Appreciate it. Hope everybody had a good fourth. Uh, have a good weekend coming up. And we'll be back out here in the afternoon doing what we can do. All right, Cooper.